Today, we will be performing a microblepharal exfoliation procedure using the Blephex handpiece. Begin by placing a numbing drop into both eyes of your patient. Using an alcohol wipe, wipe down the Blephex handpiece and the reservoir tray located on top of the charging base, allowing them both to dry completely. Pump two to three pumps of lid cleaning solution into the reservoir tray on top of the Blefex charging base. Grasp a sterile packet of four Blefex tips and tear open at the designated point to expose the bilobed base of the sterile tip. Remove the four treatment tips from the packet and place the sponge portion of the tips into the foam as shown. After allowing the tips to soak for at least 20 seconds, load one tip into the Blefex stainless steel chuck. Press and hold the power button down for two seconds to start the Blefex handpiece. The F LED will light up. Press the power button again to reverse the direction of the spin. The R LED should now be illuminated. Press the power button a third time to turn off the device. The C LED will flash when in the charging base. Make sure you are holding the device away from the patient upon startup so as not to spatter excess lid cleaning solution on the patient. For lower lids, pull the eyelid down gently while having the patient look up. Apply the spinning Blefex micro sponge to the lower lid edge and lash line to remove the exotoxin laden biofilm. Begin anywhere on the lid and treat the entire width of the lid margin with a very firm pressure in a variable swirling motion back and forth from nasal to temporal and temporal to nasal. Treat in this manner for 20 to 30 seconds. After completely treating the entire length of the lid, press the power button again to reverse the direction of the spin. Be sure to treat from the lash line to the meibomian glands. When finished with that eyelid, press the power button again to stop the device. Remove the tip while supporting the chuck and discard it. Replace the tip with one that has been pre-soaking. Make sure to always support the chuck with insertion and removal of tips. For upper lids, gently pull the lid up while having the patient look down. Do not be concerned if you bump the eyeball. It is normal to see excess cleaning solution on the eyeball itself and in the fornices.
When one eye is completely treated, thoroughly rinse with BSS or a sterile eye wash. Apply an artificial tear or combo drop for added comfort. 